a nice soft brush and I'm just gonna because I'm older and I have done my overdone my brows and overdone my brows all these years I'm just going to gently fill in any areas that are not exactly full like okay so oh, my camera's getting all weird okay so for a um, worry-free eyebrow if you don't have any eyebrow gel or whatever don't worry take out your regular hold hairspray and a spoolie brush and spray the brush and then just gently brush your hairs into place don't go up people tell you to go up but you know what happens when you go up any hair that you didn't cut is gonna stick straight up and you're gonna look like a wild wolf woman so I go in the direction I want my eyebrows to lay let's do the cheeks first um, you're gonna want to do a very um, light you don't want a bright pink you want just a blush of color and I know you're tan Myrna or, or a little darker than me but I'm gonna use um, NARS Orgasm I want you to use whatever light blush you're comfortable with okay um, whatever looks good on on you that doesn't look too too overdone all right so I'm just going to smile and I don't want to undo the the contouring and the highlighting I've done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little you can't even see it on my brush and I'm going to sweep from here away just the apples of the cheeks and I'm like I'm brushing the blush off okay because really I don't even want to look like I'm wearing blush okay onto the eyes this is going to be a real easy look for you to do you're going to need a base I use Urban Decay Primer Potion you can use um, Shadow Insurance or whatever base you like to use for your eyes always use your ring finger when you're um, blending so you're going to use any white color you like this one has a bit of iridescence to it, just a light, light, light shimmer, okay? So we're going to use a big fluffy brush, my big, well it's a flat brush, it's um, the larger um, low Cornell, it's a half inch brush. And we'll start, let me make sure, our, there we go, we'll start right at the very inner corner and go just right up to the brow. See, I'm going to draw a line right up to the brow right there. And then over. Sort of wash it under the brow. Okay? Pat it in and then wash it up and over the brow. Blend it. But you want the inner, the tear duct to be nice and bright. So we'll start with the tear duct. Does that make sense to you? I hope so. I'm going to be using this um, very light pale purplish color here because I'm going from a white to an eggplant. Okay, so I'm going to wash this over the entire lid. Again, blending as I go. I'm going to go to this purple here it's a little bit it's a little bit darker than what I just put on but it's got a bit of a shimmer to it all right and I'm gonna get a fluffy kind of brush from the the set that I got from uh, Panacea 81 it's gonna lay it right here right on the very edge And it's look at it like an accent color we're accenting the color and we're gonna go into this color here our eggplant color oops I go into this color here for our crease okay now when you have heavier lids 
it's a little harder to find your crease. I'm going to show you. My lids are pulled up a little because of the cream I used, but you can tell my lids hang down pretty low. So I have to go like this and tilt my head back, and then I can see my crease. So I put my brush right into the crease, and I tap gently. Tap into the crease gently. Now, I'm going to take my soft Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Um, there's a MAC equivalent and you want a soft blending brush. And then I'm just going to go in circles into the crease and we're going to blend that crease out into the rest of the colors a little. And a windshield wiper motion. There we go. Now I'm wearing this a little darker than I normally would for a wedding look for me because it's not for me, it's for someone with darker skin. So let's keep that in mind. Anywhere you see the lines, you're going to want to go in with your brush and just blend. I'm going to go back to Virgin, that, that nice iridescent white color, and we're going to get get it on the brush. We're going to push it into the brow bone just like this and then we're going to pull it down. Okay, again push right up under the brow and then pull it down into that uh, crease color. And blend the inner corners again. Now here's a trick you don't want heavy lined eyes. You just don't. You might think you do, but you really don't. So, here's a little trick that I'm going to show you. Let me get my brown. There. I like the Prestige liner. It's much better. It's a softer liner. Okay, there we go. Let's tight line it in. Nice chocolate brown. Now you can go in under the lower lash line and just do a very light line right in the lashes. You just go on the lower waterline. But that makes your eyes look brighter. So if you didn't sleep well last night, there you go. Um, I would wear false lashes. I would wear the natural false lashes if you know how to put them on. If not, don't wear them. Um, I have a natural length false lash, but I'm not going to put them on today. If you um, want me to show you again how to put them on, I can. Otherwise, just look at my eyelash video. Okay, I have Too Faced Lash Injection Pinpoint. But you don't want too much mascara. So just one light coat for your lips, to be honest. You don't want heavy gloss because your man is not going to want a mouthful of gloss when it says when the preacher says kiss the bride. So one of my favorite tricks is you do a little bit of lip balm, and I have some honey lip balm here, Burt's Bees honey lip balm. You do some lip balm, soften them up, and then you tap either a little bit of bronzer or a little bit of blush in there. I really love to do that with. I love the Dream Mousse Blush from Maybelline. Let me show you how good this looks. Tell me that does not look beautiful. And there you go. I hope you really like this. I love this look. Um, there's a few variations. You can change the contour colors. Um, if you change the contour colors, change the accent color. Remember the accent colors in the V, the contour colors in the crease. Um, those two should be the same color family. Um, and keep it soft. Love you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.